Welcome, Cancer, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or, may or not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how does your person currently feel towards you at this time. We're also going to go over how are they thinking of you? What do they want from the connection and the outcome? So let's see. Sperry, can you please reveal to me what is the energy or vibration of the person that's coming through in this channel reading for the sign of cancer? Spirit, what can you reveal to me about this person? Thank you. What clear messages want to come through in regards to the person that's connected to cancers and love? Okay, what else? Hmm, interesting. Now, do you see that? We have here deception and we have soulmate, but it's in reverse. So it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So are they deceiving you that they are not your soulmate? Did they tell you otherwise, Cancer? Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please clarify the energies of this person in regards to deception and soulmate? What do we need to know about this person's energy? Please clarify deception. Why is this person deceiving cancer? Why is deception here? What can you reveal to me about this person? Thank you. Hmm. Your person does not want to say. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me why is deception here? Thank you. Yeah, we have forgiveness and wait. So it says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Okay. And then we have wait. The timing is not quite right. So maybe the timing is right for forgiveness. They possibly lied to you. Okay. I know that's kind of blunt and straightforward. But let's see. Spirit, why is the soulmate card here in reverse? Why is this soulmate card here in reverse? What does Cancer need to know about this person? Why is soulmate here in reverse? What can you sh tell me? Okay, we have support. This is lean on your inner circle during this time, and it's in reverse. And also we have passion. Try something you've never done before. So your person, they wanted to try something that was a little bit out of their norm, okay, and they weren't really getting the support from their friends, so I really feel like their friends were kind of toxic, and um, this person is deceiving that, you know, they don't believe in soul connections. I really feel like your person is kind of broken uh, from a traumatic sense, right? Um they're having a hard time of really opening themselves up when it comes to love. That is what I'm getting. So there's a lot of deception here. And they don't know if you would forgive them. 
you know, for moving on. That's what I'm getting. It's like they tried it and then they're like, no, not for me. Thank you. But next, right? That's what it feels like. I mean, let me know if that, that happened to someone and it's not like a, a, a easy read, if you will. But let me go ahead and get more information on this because apparently uh, Spirit wanted me to talk about this person. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, can you please reveal to me this person's energy that is coming through? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want from this connection? And what is the outcome? Please uh, give me clear messages. Thank you. So I'm going to give it another shuffle. Okay. Wow, we have here the Empress. They're feeling really insecure. They don't have the confidence. And they know that they're careless. You know, they just don't know what to, you know, expect, you know, in terms of the future. And they know that they're acting really immature and, you know, really impatient. You know, this person gets bored pretty easily. And I see that now they're planning to change. So this person, okay, you might have triggered this person into like, okay, having like a different experience. I really am getting that you are not their normal type. Okay. Like you're for you there, you're not their normal cup of tea. I keep getting that. And, um, I really see that they just want to have fun. They want to be happy. Um, but I really feel like they're struggling with that. This person, you know, I couldn't say it any better. This person lacks self-love. They're repressing their emotions. They're holding back. The passion is there, but, you know, they're not really being supported, you know, by having a relationship. I have a feeling like your person has friends and, you know, they want to be with their friends. Not call them butt buddies. <laughs> Sorry. So take it as it resonates, okay? Now, I have a feeling like your person is just more for the community, more for their groups of people. If they're not getting the support from their social network, then you're not a part of the club or not a part of their social group, okay? I really feel like this person is revolved around like a group of people and, you know, based on the standards of that group, you know, that is how your person makes decisions. They don't actually make decisions on their own. And if the the support network doesn't approve, then they don't approve also. That's what this feels like. And I see that, you know, they really want to apologize. Okay. They're holding back, but I feel that they fear commitment. They really want to come back, but they probably don't want to admit to it. And um, I see that they're kind of stuck in the past because they ran away from the connection with you and they're feeling stuck. So, you know, I have a feeling like they're just being fake. You know, they weren't really being honest with you and they were just trying to run from their issues or their problems because they had too much that was going on at the time. And um, they keep thinking about the past. Would you forgive them? That's why this person is stalling when they're coming back. So there's an opportunity for a person to really open up towards you, but they're just not, or it's not easy for them to do it, possibly because of how they portray themselves or how they cut things off with you. I see that, you know, they're motivated to really, you know, change their focus. And I see that, you know, they're really focused on like, what the public thinks about them. So again, your person really cares about how they look, their social standing, you know, um, the groups of people that they gravitate towards, which possibly isn't really all that important, but it is for your person, at least for right now. Yeah, and they may come off as being selfish or jealous or even materialistic, you know, always thinking about themselves, not really so much about you. And it's because their intuition is blocked and um, they have like this idea that nobody really wants them. That's why they're, you know, they're, they're trying really hard to fit in, okay, in these group situations. And, you know, they have a lot of fear and anxiety about, being a part of the group or being a part of like 
society, you know, um, what I'm also getting is that maybe for some, your person is um, antisocial, like um, they're kind of like introverted and they don't like to be out in public. And that's for some. Uh, I'm also getting that there could be a third party. Okay. So, I mean, there could be a situation where they actually have another situation going on on the side. And um, what I'm getting is that that other third party is catty. Okay, they're very gossipy, very bitchy, like in nature. Or if it's not a B, you know, an A-hole. <laughs> and take as far as names. So that's why they have a lot of uh, stress surrounding that. They have been meditating in their own way. And they're just exhausted. They feel like they can't really defend themselves anymore. It's just too difficult. And they really want to let go of the pain you know, they do want to reconcile though. So cancer, there is a past person who is really deceiving that they want to know, would you forgive them? Okay. You know, the timing is now we have here weight, but it's in reverse, you know, in the upright position, it says it's not right, but it is time for, for them to know or ask for forgiveness. They haven't been honest with you that there is passion. I, I have a feeling like your person told you like they didn't they didn't have any feelings towards you. I just really feel like they, they didn't know how to handle you. Because what I'm feeling is that you're just different than what they're normally used to. And what they're used to is toxic. That's what I'm feeling. So let's see what else. Now, look at this. We have here justice. Okay, maybe for some you're done with a Libra. Um, they want to tell you the truth that they really want to romance you. You know, that's why the passion is here. They want to hold on, you know. Maybe they want to hold on to you and also a karmic situation. You know, kind of like testing the waters, but not really going all in. Now, how do they feel? They really feel that you actually complete them but they have fear of choosing you exactly like i feel that you know this is kind of like temperance you know um where they they tap the toe in the water and just kind of test the waters a little bit and see if it's all right you know but they're afraid to make that full commitment but i see here the emperor in case you could be done with the divine masculine Whichever the case, you know, this person really wants to protect themselves and protect their investments and protect their honor, their dignity, whatever this is, okay? And it kind of seems really selfish in a way, but they're just protecting their ego, and that's where it all comes down to. So what do they want? I really feel that they really want to come off as being like they're not interested so if this fits your story you may be done with a fire sign but if not okay they act as if they're bitter they're rude impulsive okay they may put on the sex appeal okay but it's very hot energy hot and cold energy for what i can sense you know there's always people around your person maybe they have more multiple partners and that's for some but it's stressing them out, okay? That's not how they want to act to you. However, their acting is totally different than what they really want to act. It's just like they're so used to toxic relationships. That's all they know how to act or be or portray themselves to be. But really, this person wants to get to know you. And they could have hurt your feelings, okay? I mean, that that's how I'm feeling. That's why you may, like, not care, <clears throat> to open up to this person but i feel like there's more you know if you guys had the chance to get to know each other and take the time to really you know really get to know each other on a deeper level okay if you guys allow yourselves to do that much now what is the outcome okay so there is like kind of lies and sneakiness behavior going on now i see that they're waiting for the right time and this could be about travel. So if they're at a distance, uh, they could be traveling towards you. So for some, maybe this person doesn't live close by. But what I'm getting is that 
They're going to be acting rude and arrogant. Again, sarcastic, acting like they don't care. I'm going to tell you this, Cancer. I mean, this person may come off as rude and salty and a bit show-offy. And the, the, the reality is, is that they have, they're very passionate towards you, but they're coming off as a jerk. I don't know how else to put this. So it's really up to you to use your discernment. Are you going to accept their behavior? Obviously, no. But you're going to come with a level of understanding that, you know, hey, that's just how they are. You know, you're not going to accept them and their rudeness. But if they were to fess up and admit that that's how they're coming off and want to reconcile, then sure, that's a different story. But I feel like your person's coming from a level of immaturity and they don't know how to handle their rude behavior. That's what this all looks like, okay, if you ask me. So let's see what else. Spirit, what is the hidden truth? What is the hidden truth? My life is not together as it seems, exactly. I'm starting to understand our connection. I really feel that this is kind of like twin flame-ish. If, if not, it's definitely a soul connection where you can definitely learn a lesson from. That is what I'm feeling. Um, let's see. Is there another message that wants to come through? One more message. Thank you. I left you before you could leave me again. That's where this arrogance comes from. You know, they felt like maybe you were going to leave them, but they left you. I really feel like for some, I mean, you're dealing with a fire sign. If that's what it feels like, but, but it doesn't have to be. They could have fire in their chart. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance. So if this has resonated so far, uh, or if you like it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. So let's go ahead and see. What is the guidance from spirit? What does spirit want you to know? How are you going to handle this? What is the best advice that spirit has for my lovely cancers and love? How can you handle this person's energy? I know, right? Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by others' strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Now, this is all about following your intuition. Your person is going to come off strong and they're going to come off negative. I'm not going to lie. But beneath the surface, there is passion. Obviously, you're not going to take this person's rude ass behavior you know, um, because they're coming from a place of brokenness. Okay. Like they don't understand how they're, they're, how they're portraying themselves. You know, maybe this person is used to this kind of behavior when it comes to relationships. It feels as if your person doesn't know how to be in a relationship or they've been broken one too many times when, when they commit themselves. That's why, you know, commitment is not their, their key point here. But they're definitely attracted to you. So it's a level of how how much do you have in your heart to forgive them? How much empathy do you have towards this person? Surrender to trust. Trust your intuition. If you don't have time for them, so be it. If you have time and you want to mother them or nurture them, you know, so be it. There is no right or wrong to this because ultimately there is a personal lesson that you're learning from this whole experience dealing with this individual and that's what i have so i really hope that that was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me where i can dive deeper into your situation if this sounds like your person and you want to know more um, then you can definitely book a reading with me. Uh, my personal readings are on sale until October 10th of 2022. So now is a good time to book a reading. And uh, also you can fo follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's reading. If you're interested in my latest tarot deck, Tarot Visions, you can order your version on my website or on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash Scorpio Moon Intuition. This is a 78 card divination deck with upright and reverse interpretations to help you improve your reading skills, but also enhance your intuition with clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, and more. Copies will be mailed in October 2022. This is a limited edition deck, so reserve yours while supplies last. Also, you can check out my latest book on how you can attract everything you desire using Law of Attraction. It is a manifestation challenge workbook using the 555 method. Check it out on Amazon or through my Etsy shop online. Also, if you're interested in journaling or writing down your dreams, I have a collection of notebooks to help you make plans, take notes, and so much more. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.